it well. And that ball is gone. Ramirez with a home run, and for the first time this year, the Twins have been walked off. A high fastball right there. Ramirez hitting his seventh home run of the year. Nice comeback for the Florida Marlins. 0 2 again. Ground ball fair, and the Braves win it. Past the diving Suarez. And oh, the walk's hot tonight. Winning run reaches via the walk. But man, that's a long way out. Payoff pitch sent to center. Jones on the run. That ball is gone. And the Rangers win another one run affair. Odor walks it off with his 20th homer of the year, his second of the series, and sixth of his career against the Tigers. In the air to right field. Renfro's not going to get it. It's by him. The tying run is in. Here comes the winning run. Throw to the plate is going to be close. No, it's not. Game over. Dodgers walk it off. Not a good throw to the plate. And Seeger comes all the way around to win this ball game. Max Muncy drives him in. Five years old. Swing and a fly ball deep center field. It's a walk off. Pinch hit homer. High above the batter's eye. The risk you take when you've got a good breaking ball, you've got some speed over at third base, that ball in the dirt, you got to break, you got to block it. Hard time with his command and his location and where he's going with it. That's it. That is up the left field line, and that will conclude our trip back to Boston. So now he's given up a run in nine of his last ten, and Brock Holt is going to slide into home plate, trying to run away from his teammates. Into right field. Starling is back. And the game ends on an opposite field walk-off home run by the number nine hitter, Jordy Mercer. And appropriately, the game ends with the eighth home run tonight. One to Thames, and he hits the ball high in the air, deep out to right field. Pence is back, but he will not be able to get it. Thames with a game-winning homer in the bottom of the ninth with two out off Emmanuel Clase. And the Brewers take the opening game of this series six to five. Conforto, it's over Adam Eaton's head, and the Mets have shocked the Nets. Well, Sean Dulu had a rough one the last time he was on the city field mound, and he has another rough one here tonight. And the Mets have now won 14 of the last 15, and that one is a punch to the gut big time for 25 guys and a coaching staff in that clubhouse. Fly ball deep left. There's the catch. Ramirez tags. Here comes the throw. And the Marlins have beaten the Braves. Utter bullpen collapse. Ball 
drilled deep right field. This ball game's over. Walk off home run by Rio Ruiz with the Orioles down to their final strike. And the Astros eight game winning streak is over. As Ruiz, who pitched in and hit a home run in last night's game, hits a two run home run today to end this one. The Orioles score three to win a wild game. And have to finish up that game, the suspended game with Kansas City. 2 2. Shout out to left center field. That's a deep drive way back there, and that ball is going to get out of here for a game winner. Santana with a walk off home run. A line shot to left center to beat the Red Sox here in the ninth inning, 6 to 5. Arenado down the line. This might win the ball game. It's gone. Here it is. A towering blast. And the Phillies win it on a titanic grand slam from Bryce Harper. Phillies have swept the series. Go time on 3 2. Ground ball up the middle. Pirates win. Another heartbreaking loss for the Cubs. 3 2 the final. Kevin Newman. Five fair graduate. Ground ball up the middle, and he's going to win this game tonight. A's walking off. 3 to 2. 13 innings. Robbie Grossman, his first hit of the night. In six at best is a game winner. And the A's have won the first two games of the series. The 2 2 from Hall. Sends one to deep right center field. And that ball is up against the wall, and Tampa wins it in walk off fashion. Field long run for Harold, but this will fall, and the Rockies walk him off. The one-one from Jimenez up the middle, off the glove of Beckham. Tampa is going to walk it off for a second straight night. Are you kidding me? One one pitch chopper off the plate. Uh oh no way stumbling fires the first and the Rangers walk off by the final of eight to seven one of those tough plays once it got over the head of no way there's no chance you're going to make the play as Texas comes all the way back down seven to one 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 ground ball to first Albert has it go underneath his glove to Shields is going to come in to score. And for the second straight night, Texas walks off on the Angels in extra innings. And the 11th inning both times as well. Driven deep right center field. And that's your ball game. They have made a habit of that this year, haven't they? That's the 11th walk off win for the Dodgers. Muncie, you mentioned he hadn't put a ball in play. He's just itching to get something out over the plate. Timed up that fastball. Home run number 32, and the Dodgers win game two. The 3 2 offering. Yeep, left field. Mets win it. The 
the 1-2. Skips in and kicks away, and the Rays walk off on a wild pitch. Didn't matter how many infielders there were. 7-6. The Rays win it. The Mariners do take the series, however. And the Mariners were able to come back in this game. They were behind the entire time. It's a shame to lose it this way. It was a breaking ball that was in the dirt. 2-1. Pence pulls one through the left side. And Texas will walk off on the Angels. 8-7 the final. Three times we've seen this routine for Texas in his four-game set. As they walk off again twice was in the 11th thing this time in the bottom of the nine for Texas our Land Rover above and beyond a player of the game Hunter Pence an RBI walk off single in the left center field and it will fall for a game winning hit. Play at the plate. That's going to drop. Hernandez charging. Seeger heading home, and the Dodgers win it. It's been a magical season for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Comes Iglesias with the 1 1. Fly ball, and that'll do it. The Pirates have rallied for two off of Iglesias in the bottom of the ninth to walk it off. 3 2, your final score. Deep to left. Right. Sean Rodriguez wins the game. How about this? On a 1-2 pitch, Corey Dickerson's home run gave them the lead, and Sean Rodriguez walks it off with a home run off Michael Felice. How about that? Yeah, and, uh, How about that? And with Dickerson, you have a hard time saying it was a mistake because the pitch was a, like a, above his shoulder. Again, the stuff of Michael Felice is good. The execution at times, not as good. He pitched a really good game. There's a high fly ball in a deep left field, and this game is over. Iglesias throws three pitches, and he has his 10th loss of this season. And the Marlins win it by a final count of 4-3 to three in 12 innings on the home run by Harold Ramirez. That is 10 losses for Rysel Iglesias this year. With Speedy Turner at second. That's in the left field. Turner was off around third. Here comes a throw. And Anthony Rendon wins it for the Washington Nationals. Now, when you're the hottest team in baseball, you continue to find ways to win a baseball game. And the Washington Nationals have done it again. Quarter zip in full effect. Right field. Ball game. Two two pitch. Into right field. They're going to wave around the runner. And the Cardinals have won it. Cardinals walk it off on a bloop single by Matt Carpenter. And just a killer of a loss for the Reds. And another loss hung on Rysel Iglesias. 1 0 pitch. And the Rangers win it 3 to 2. Rangers have played so much better at their home ballpark, and that's a big reason why scoring runs late in games. Unfortunately for the Mariners, they really executed in this game for the most part tonight.